In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up RLCraft and RLCraft Dragora with Fivecraft so you can play RLCraft in VR. I'm also hosting a VR RLCraft Dragora server, but you don't have to play in VR to join the server. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. If you've never done any modding, you may have to install Java or JRE, the Java Runtime Environment. This is the one I personally use. I'll leave this link in the description. This setup also uses the CurseForge app, which you may need to install. After you install CurseForge, you want to search for RLCraft Dragora. This is the correct version right here. You want to click that. You could just install it on the newest version. But if you already have a version of it, you may need to install it manually from here. 1.0.3 is the current version. Once your mod pack finishes downloading, you want to click My Mod Packs. Right click on the mod pack you just installed. Click Profile Options. Allow Content Management for this profile. Turn off use system memory settings. You may want to set this to something, but I believe it goes through whatever your JV, JVM arguments are in your Minecraft. You then want to right click the profile again and open the folder. There's a couple mods here you're going to want to remove if you're playing in virtual reality. You want to click on mods, and then you want to search for render lib and delete it. Entity calling, delete that, mobens, and enhanced visuals. You then want to go back to the root of your mod pack installation and then click on config. You'll change the configuration of potioncore.cfg. Open it, press Ctrl F and search for Is the Reach Potion enabled? You don't want to change the default, but you want to change enabled to false. Make sure you save it. You then want to change the ice and fire configuration file. In regular RLCraft, it's called ice and fire configuration, but it has underscores. But if you're on RLCraft or Agora, there are no underscores. So you want to open this up and disable the Siren Shader. And make sure you save it. If you're playing single player or hosting your own server and you don't want to configure any controls, you may want to disable the locks mod by changing the spawn chance to zero. But I have this already configured using the server settings. Now you'll want to install the swing through grass mod for 1.12.2. And if you're playing on the server, you're going to want to install the simple voice chat mod, but it's not required. Neither of these mods are required, but they improve the experience. You then want to go back to the root of your mod pack. Go back to mods. And then drag your mods into the mods folder. Again, the links to these mods will be in the description. Now the important part, we're going to add Vivecraft to your mod pack profile. You want to go to the Vivecraft page, which will be linked in the description. You want to scroll down to Vivecraft 1.12.2. Click on that. You may need to make an account, but you want to download the installer.exe here. 
If you don't have a GitHub account, it might not even show the installation. You want to assure that you've closed the Minecraft launcher before you do any installation with Fivecraft. You want to make sure you're installing Vivecraft to a forge. Now you want to check the version the mod pack's on. 14.23.5.2860. So you want to go back to Vivecraft, click custom version, and match it. So change this to 60. You may want to increase RAM. Give it a nice name. Now the most important part, you want to add a mod pack directory. So you want to go back to your mod pack directory. Click up here, copy the path. Close this, go back to Vivecraft, click the three dots, paste in the path, click open, and that should be all you need to install. Make sure you've closed your Minecraft launcher. Your installation should now be ready to play. You might want to change some configurations like rename it. Change your JVM arguments to allow for more RAM. You might want to change the icon so it's more notable. And then you should be ready to play. It's very important that when you launch the game, you are wearing your headset because it may cause a crash if you're not wearing your headset while launching the game. If you're playing RL Craft or Agora, it will pop up this installation window. Click Next and we'll wait for it to install. It is very likely that you crashed on your first time trying to launch the game. Just launch it again, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Before you create a world, you want to go to video settings and turn off shaders. If you have any shaders enabled, it might crash when trying to join or create any worlds. Now that you've successfully launched into RLCraft, I'll show you some of the common settings you might want to change. If you want to change your movement to follow your head rather than your hand, you want to click Options, VR Settings, Locomotion Settings, Free Move Settings, and then you want to click on Free Move Type until it says HMD. If you want to have full control over your movement, You'll want to disable walk-up blocks, and then go back to controls and make sure auto-jump is disabled. RLCraft has many controls, so you will want to configure your radial menu. You can find it when you click Options, VR Settings, and Radial Menu, where you can change all of these. You may want to set one of your radial menu controls to pets so you have quick access to your summons. If you're using the simple voice chat mod, you will want to use the voice chat settings button so you can configure your voice chat. Make sure you select your microphone and your speaker. And then you can test it. Depending on what you use, you may want to configure your trinkets and baubles, which also requires special keybinds, but you may not use all their abilities. Some controls, you might have to go to the controller bindings in the Steam menu. 
With the controller settings, I personally set controls for JEI, so I can check recipes of items and see how to craft them. And I also added a quick shift move. You should have finished setup, and I wish you the best of luck on your survival.